angle especially when I'm doing a little cooking today is Saturday morning and I'm about to have my coffee and just do a little quick devotion hopefully I can share a word with you I guess the angle is kind of far but at least you get to see my whole kitchen and you get to see my whole body which I'm working on I'm trying to diet a little bit to see if I can lose a little weight so it is a wonderful thing to be able to record and just speak to you out of my heart and I hope that you enjoy it so as you can see I'm a coffee lover I have my coffee here so I'm gonna get ready to prepare it and just come back and talk to you for a few minutes so hopefully this will be a better a better thing for uh, for me that I'm able to record a lot more Actually, actually, you can see my kitchen is a whole mess. I need to put some things away. And I just thought maybe I could just um, stop by and just share something with you. So, how are you on this wonderful Saturday? Yesterday was so nice out. You know, it was about what? I think it was close to 60 degrees. I don't know exactly. But it was so nice out, you know. So, now... So what would you, if you want me to cook something specifically and record it, you let me know what it is that you want me to cook. Because I, I make a lot of Haitian dish, whatever you want, some legumes, sauce poids, coli, some legumes, I say sauce poids, coli, but it's sauce poids, blah. So if you want me to make that, just let me know down the description below and I will do that for you so i um, just gonna get my coffee ready and you can see how I get my coffee ready actually I ha I like I like um I like um my coffee with milk and sugar is my little cup that I like so I get my coffee I'm not having Yeba Malte since you guys love that video with the Yeba Malte. I haven't got the little cup of the straw. That's one of the reasons why I haven't made it yet. But I'm working on it. When I do make it, you'll be the first one to see it. So this is my coffee. I'm going to run to the refrigerator. You cannot see that angle. I'm going to get my milk. I like regular milk with some sugar. The milk is about to finish. So I have some milk. Some milk. And I, <coughs> my voice seems to be a little bit different this morning. I don't know. I think I'm coming down with a cold or I, or I didn't get a good night rest last night. So I'm going to get some sugar in there. I don't know what kind of sugar you like, but I like brown sugar. I, I try not to, to take a lot, but I do like, like my coffee to be a little sweet. Yeah, so since I have you in that angle, I guess I should do my little devotion and I don't have all my materials with me that's something else too I was just recording so quickly and I forgot to bring my devotion paper so I'm thinking of doing it doing it um since I don't have my devotion my little devotion book unless I can just go and get it quickly if you guys could just wait for one minute. Mm. So good. First cup of coffee in the morning is always the best. So let me run and get the get the little devotion and you wait for one minute.
here I am I have it here this was given to me by one of my friends and I know she know who she is yeah I was given by one of my friends from work and she gave me that little devotion and I'm just gonna read one quick page for you but I'm gonna sip a little more coffee when I really get good with this um, YouTube videos editing and putting them I will be so proud of myself because I'm just learning by myself every day I try to do something different and just learn something new yep that's how it goes um, let's read this one it talks about attitude how's your attitude we all have different attitude it says as you rush to and fro running errands picking up the kids getting to work buying groceries do you keep a positive attitude that's something that's something hard to do especially when you are in the world you rush in you're trying to buy groceries you're trying to run all your errands can you really keep your positive attitude can you do that can you keep your positive attitude sometimes it's hard especially when you're driving and you have somebody who is very slow behind you and you want to get to work when you're running late i run late a lot of a lot of times and i'm running late and that person is driving like i don't know driving so slow in front of me sometimes you get a little frustrate frustrated or do you frustrate do you, or do frustration and irritation take over when i frazzle i tend to let it go losing my temper comes very easily along with the desire and sometimes the action to tell someone exactly how i feel what i think mm. but i want to practice what i preach and believe me it sometimes takes all god's strengths in my life to help me to do nothing to not react how about if someone gives you the finger while you're driving they do that to me a lot of times especially when i'm driving slow uh yeah i'm a slow driver so that's why <laughs> when they give me the finger i don't know how to react i don't know what to say should i put down my window and and let them have it but no as a christian i cannot do that i cannot put down my window and let them have it or i just simply just say go ahead go go before me yeah that's what i do I continue to ask God to fill me with his love and patience two key elements the Bible calls fruit of the spirit yes I love the fruits of fruits of the period uh, of the sorry fruit of the spirit which is love kind patience love patience long-suffering and self-control a lot of good stuff that you have to have as a Christian but um, sometimes they are hard to come, they are hard to, to have. We call on to exhibit, exhibit the same love practice, uh, love and patience Jesus had. And how busy we are doesn't fit into the equation. And now there's a quick small prayer after reading that. I hope you can see me very well. And if, 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 um. If the angle is not correct I'm trying to see what I can do about that but it's Saturday it's just early in the morning I couldn't sleep so I got up and I said let me try this let me try to put it on a pod, um, tripod and see how it would work out and how it would come out so and also you know I'm saying I have to do a lot more videos now I don't want to just fool around because I know I have subscribers and I have to please you guys and also please God because I'm doing it for God. Lord, when things don't go the way I planned or sometimes interferes with my plans, I get so frustrated. Help me be more flexible and give me the wisdom and the grace to respond and love to the people involved. Amen. We have to pray for grace. For God to give us the grace so that we can 
when we come when we come to those moments of frustrations how we can react how we can react um, so he can give us grace so that we can act in a positive way in a way that will show that we have the light in a way that will show that we are children of God so that's what I have for you this morning it's not long it's very short and I just wanted to stop by and try this new thing maybe maybe before the week is over I'll be cooking a little dish I don't know how I will do it as you know I'm the only person that's recording these things I'm filming I'm trying to get all these things done and then I have to learn to edit so it's quite it's quite a hard job it's not quite easy and I have to learn it so thank you for your time thank you for coming to my little kitchen is quite small but I love it it's cozy and I have my coffee station which I love every morning to get a nice cup of coffee so thank you so much and God bless you thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share to your friends and you know that Jesus loves you and I love you also thank you so much I truly truly appreciate it